KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Tuesday, the 9th of July. I'm James Spann. All eyes on the Gulf of Mexico. Tropical Storm Barry will likely form between now and Thursday night. How will that impact Alabama and the coast? We'll talk about that. Let's start with the upper air look across the country. Maine westerly is well to the north. Down here, the winds are lost are light and variable, and we have thunderstorms that have flared, mainly over east and south Alabama today. The north and northwestern part of the state is dry. That was the radar at 218. Had some pretty hefty storms east of Montgomery. In fact, uh, we had severe thunderstorm warnings for parts of Macon, Lee, and Russell counties at that point. Those are moving southwest today. Away from the storms, hot as a fire cracker. Birmingham, Muscle Shoals, 94, Huntsville, 95, Tuscaloosa, 93. We'll be in the 90s tomorrow, but then heat levels come down because of an increase in clouds and showers later in the week. There is a heat advisory for the counties there in Orange, parts of central and northwest Alabama. That's where the heat index uh, could reach 105. There's the severe weather outlook through tonight. The uh, main risk well to the north tomorrow, a risk of severe storms from the Red River to the Great Lakes. And on day three, Thursday, a marginal risk from Nashville up into parts of western New York and on the Gulf Coast, a marginal risk for southeast Louisiana, coastal Mississippi, Alabama, and the western tip of the Florida panhandle. That's for the possibility of a few water spouts or isolated tornadoes with what should be a tropical storm at that point offshore. All right, rain, this is a hard one to draw right now, but this is the latest from WPC suggesting heavier totals over Louisiana and Texas. And again, this probably will change. Don't be shocked if the next updated OZ will show maybe wetter conditions for the Panhandle and the, the Alabama Gulf Coast. Uh, but anyway, we're going to have rain, and we'll talk about these specifics as we go. The Hurricane Center now with a 70% chance of a tropical depression forming within 48 hours. The Circulation Center is now over water. Appalachie Bay... And that's drifting to the southwest, which means this thing will probably get its act together sooner than later, as SSTs are very warm in that region. So modeling, first off, the tropical models. And you can see, get the general idea, most of them bring it over toward Louisiana with a gradual uh, inland trend. Got a few outliers coming through Alabama. And again, as you look at these maps, please don't focus on the center point. That doesn't make a lot of sense with a tropical storm. The rain shield could extend out to the east several hundred miles with these things. Uh, this is the GFS ensemble. The mean, it's the black line. And you can see the uh, mean and most of the members bringing up into Louisiana and Mississippi. That keeps Alabama on the wet east side. And this is the GFS ensemble output. And again, the mean line, it's the black. And, and remember, along and to the right of that line, uh, it'll be wet for, you know, one, 200 miles or maybe even more. Uh, this is the intensity guidance, and these numbers are coming up. Uh, we've got uh, uh, almost all the intensity schemes here bring it up to tropical storm strength and some flirt with hurricane strength. Uh, so we'll be watching intensity levels careful. Keep in mind, when forecasting tropical cyclones, that's probably the weakest point uh, we have in the chain is the intensity forecast. We all know uh, with warm water and proper conditions aloft, uh, these things can ramp up pretty quick. We'll keep an eye on it, but again, for now, we still believe this will stay at tropical storm strength. We'll check the GFS. This is the 06C run tomorrow at 4 o'clock. This is at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground, upper high over the southwest. And uh, this should give uh, Barry a chance to kind of go north on the eastern flank of that upper high. Notice the trough coming through the Great Lakes. Down below that, a broad surface low is over the northern Gulf. And obviously, a few showers and thunderstorms are likely for the Gulf Coast and inland parts of Alabama. The better chance inland comes tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. And even on the Gulf Coast tomorrow, it's not going to rain all day. It will not. But uh, it will rain at times. The rain could be heavy at times. And the surf will be rough. Rip currents will be a real danger. This is Thursday. What should be Tropical Storm Barry is just well, it's near the mouth of the Mississippi River, uh, south of New Orleans. And again, we are clearly on the wet side of this with an onshore flow and a surface front 
approaching from the north, lined up from near Cincinnati down to Dallas-Fort Worth. So you got that and the tropical moisture feed coming in the south. Thursday should be a fairly wet day. Again, not all day, but occasional showers and thunderstorms are likely and rain likely for the Gulf Coast as well. Friday, the uh, thing is just creeping westward, uh, south of Morgan City, Louisiana. Surface boundary stalled out north of us, and again, for the Gulf Coast, the central Gulf Coast, Panama City, Destin, Pensacola, Gulf Shores, Fort Morgan, Dauphin Island. Looks pretty wet. Decent part of the state, wet occasional showers and storms. We'll probably stay in the 80s. We'll stay under 90 because of the clouds and rain. Now, Saturday, the system is near the Sabine Pass, and it's just creeping along. We're going to see some big rains somewhere. Um, and again, we're still on the east side, obviously. But notice that uh, this just might be a day of improving weather for Panama City Beach and Destin. Uh, the farther east you go, the better off you'll be. But still, the Alabama coast looks pretty wet on Saturday and a decent chance of showers and storms statewide. And then Sunday, the thing is inland over Louisiana. And again, uh, South Mississippi, Louisiana, the Alabama Gulf Coast looking pretty wet. Maybe not as wet for the northern half of the state, but still a chance of showers. And for the Florida Panhandle, again, we'll have showers and storms around, but it will not rain all day Sunday. Monday, Circulation Center is kind of dissipating inland over Arkansas. We still are very moist, so... Scattered showers and storms around highs in the 80s. And this is a week from today, Tuesday the 16th. What's left of the system is coming up into Missouri. And uh, this is suggesting the deeper moisture should be west of the state at that point. We'll go out 10 days. This is Friday the 19th, Flat Ridge. And that looks classic summer weather. Hot, muggy, scattered afternoon storms. This is the precipitation output for Birmingham from the uh, GFS Ensemble. And, of course, the members are all over the board. Uh, the mean is a little over 3 inches. Some of the... Uh, members ramp it up to almost six inches, but you want to stick with the mean here, the ensemble mean. And these are the numbers. Curiously, uh, uh, the high drops to 77 on Sunday, and I certainly don't buy that. I, I do think we'll see highs in the 80s uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but not that low. And then we creep back up in the low 90s out there toward the end of next week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.